Spikes Jr. This is Particulars Basketball. What I'm going to show you today is a tutorial on um, unfundamental layups that have become very fundamental in today's game. We always think about going for conventional layups where you got to jump off your left foot for a right-handed layup, but in today's game, sometimes you got to be able to jump off your right foot and then score with your right hand. Sometimes when you get up in the air, you got guys that are can jump in above the rim, they're, they're, they're contesting shots at the block. You can't afford to do the basic layup because that might get your shot blocked. So sometimes you got to get up in the air as fast as you possibly can, and from there be able to switch hands or be able to finish with both hands, all depending on what the defense is giving you. So I want to show you some different options or some different uh, finishing school drills to help you work on these ideas of being able to score off of your left and your right foot and your right and your left. What we do is a Euro step. I'm going to take off with my left leg, then go to my right leg, and then you're going to see me jump up, uh, shoot a layup with my left hand. Then I'm going to show you what happens when the defender takes that, that, that finish away and you have to switch to your right hand. Let's look at it. Now I'm going up for my, the same layup, but the defender plays me close, takes away my layup. Now you're going to see me switch to the right hand. Now this works in game time situations because if I just go straight up, the defender might get a great angle and take away my score. But if I can sidestep, get their body to lean because they're afraid I might come on the other side and finish, if I can get their bodies to lean a little bit, now I can jump up, get the ball to my strong hand, negate the shot block with my left leg and left hand, and now I just got to be able to use some English, use the backboard, and come up with a finish. Let's look at some other options as well. Jumping off of your left foot going up for a right-handed layup, but then having to come and switch. Again, you never know. You might have a right-hand layup at the beginning of the play, but when you see the help side coming, you see the defender coming after the shot block, you might have to switch hands and then finish with touch. So let's look at how we can train for that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two hard steps toward the basket. I'm gonna go right, left. I wanna really work on showing this basketball just for, for drill sake. I want to show the ball, come down, and finish it with my left. Again, knowing how to use both hands and both feet to give you a score, even if it's not always conventional or fundamental. Here we go. They come about. You're on the left-hand side, and you're being heavily contested, or you're being heavily pressured. Can you go with your left hand? Now, the fundamental word of basketball says yes, left hand side, left hand layup. But sometimes that might not be the best option. If my right hand is closer to the basket, I want to go for the quicker score. Granted, left hand layup is what they always preach, but sometimes scoring on the left side of the basket with the hand that's closest to the basket makes the most sense. Let's look at how it happens. I'm in transition. I'm in the change of direction. I see that I've beat my man. The help side's coming. And they're being aggressive to, 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 to uh, challenge the shot. If I go here, I open myself up to a potential shot block. If I jump stop, I might give up my scoring opportunity altogether. Maybe I can shot fake, but I don't want to give the defense any opportunity to get to this shot. So I may cross and go up quick. Some people may call it a cop out, but at the end of the day, it's about putting the ball in the basket. Dominique was a right-handed dominant scorer. He was going right, the league knew he was going right, and it didn't matter. He got to the right side, he was able to score. Let's look at the situation. Do is a 
another off-balance layup. But here's the, here's the situation. The defender is coming in from the left-hand side, and I'm on the right-hand side. And so when you have big, uh, good shot blockers, sometimes it's best to get into their body first and then worry about the shot second. You want to maybe initiate contact, potentially draw a foul, and then worry about seeing if you can get the ball up. So what you're going to do is I'm going to take off like I'm going to shoot a left-hand layup. I'm going to take two steps to the left. And once I get somewhat underneath the basket, then I'm going to work on extending the arm out and then using my English, using the backboard uh, to, to, to create a score. So you're going to see my body go toward or go underneath the basket, and then you're going to see me extend. And again, this is another way where you can initiate contact, but use your body and off-balance concepts to create scores for yourself. Let's do three of them. necessarily a fancy move. It's a necessary move when I'm going against elite teams with elite shot blockers or, or guys that have good athletes see. on their team. The unfundamental layups are starting to become more and more fundamental in today's game. The basics are necessary. And if you can utilize the basics and still be a dominant player, great. Tim Duncan's been doing it for years. But for guards, smaller players, you got to have a couple tricks up your sleeve that will enable you to get up shots. I don't ever recall Shaquille O'Neal needing to jump off the wrong foot to make a layup because he was so dominant, he was so big. But I do recall Russell Westbrook, Chris Prawl, Steve Nash, and a whole host, a whole host of other elite guards needing different tricks, different flick shots, jumping off of different feet to make these shots. Isaiah Thomas won the elite guards in NBA history, was a fantastic guard, but he shot a poor three-point percentage. Why? Because back then, the three-point shot wasn't as prevalent. But now, every elite guard needs a three-point shot. So it lets you know that these trick shots or these unconventional shots are becoming more and more a part of today's game. Work on your fundamentals. Master your fundamentals. But spend a little bit of time jumping off the wrong foot, making a layup, reverse layup off the wrong foot because you never know when that shot might be the best option to get your team a bucket when it's clutch time. Meticulous basketball, more drills to come. <laughs> 